Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to demonstrate working of a Type D chopper. In case you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to it so that you will be getting the videos that we post regularly. Alright, let's get into our topic for today. This is the circuit diagram of a Type D chopper. So the entire working can be analyzed by considering only two cases. At the first place, let us consider case 1 as when switches CH1 and CH2 are turned on. What happens? So it will be very convenient if we consider equivalent circuits. So this is the equivalent circuits. When CH1 and CH2 are on, it acts as short circuit and uh, it is represented in this particular fashion. The nature of load that we are considering is inductive in nature. So it will be convenient for us to analyze the circuit in an easier way. So now what happens when in this particular scenario DC supplies current starts flowing through the circuit in this particular fashion. Inductor starts shorting energy as plus and minus indicated over here and uh, the output voltage will be positive if you carefully observe. So current continues to flow in this direction and comes back to the source. So if you carefully observe there are certain inferences that are uh, made out of this. So output current is positive because it is flowing from the source to the load. That is one important thing. Output voltage is positive because it is plus and minus with respect to the load terminals. So it in it clearly infers that it operates in first quadrant because voltage output voltage is positive and output current is positive. So it is in first quadrant of operating mode. Now what happens in case 2 when switches CH1 and CH2 are turned off? They are turned off immediately and at that point in time the circuit looks like this. So D1 and D2 will start conducting. How is it so? So according to the property of the inductor, it does not allow sudden change in current, isn't it? So current was previously flowing in this particular direction in the previous equivalent circuit if you carefully observe. So it will continue to flow in the same direction according to Lin's law and the inductor will reverse its polarity. It was plus and minus. So it will reverse its polarity, allows the current to flow in the same direction. As a result, when plus is appearing across anode of D2, it will be forward biased. When minus is appearing across cathode of D1, D1 will be forward biased. Hence D1 and D2 are forward biased and current starts flowing in this particular direction, in this particular direction, in this particular direction and comes back in this particular direction to the load. So if you carefully observe what are the inferences that can be made, the current is still flowing the same direction. So output current is positive current is coming towards the source if you carefully observe one important point in the previous case current was flowing from the source now current is flowing through towards the source this is very important in uh, waveform analysis so please make a note of this point i'll explain and correlate with that uh, while explaining the waveforms so output voltage is negative if you carefully observe this is the load that is used output voltage is minus and plus so it is negative so this corresponding mode of operation is called as fourth quadrant operation so we are very clear that it operates in the first quadrant and fourth quadrant so this is the entire operation so how do we correlate with the waveforms so this is uh, the waveforms that we are going to analyze we are considering two cases that is when T on is greater than T off. So getting pulses looks something like this. Initially we will assume uh, CH1 and CH2 are on and then they are off and then they are on. So if you carefully observe the pulse width the duty ratio of CH1 and CH2 are much higher that is T on is greater than T off. So now what happens to the nature of inductor current and load current. So both are the same because uh, the same current flows through the load and the nature of current with respect to uh, the load is basically the inductor current. So both the currents are basically same. So it starts increasing when CH1 and CH2 are turned on because inductor starts charging. So once that is done when CH1 and CH2 are turned on the energy stored in the inductor was discharged to D1 and D2 isn't it? As a result current starts decreasing. Now again current starts increasing in the next cycle and current starts decreasing in the next cycle again in this particular fashion. So as a result you will be getting this type of nature of waveform of inductor current and load current. So what happens to the nature of source current? Initially the current starts flowing through the source term from the source terminal it starts increasing and at some point in time when CH1 and CH2 are turned off I told you that the current will uh, come into the source terminals from the load to the source terminals in this particular fashion so it will go immediately to negative and consequently starts decreasing so this is because inductor is starting to discharge and as a result the current is gradually decreasing so the same current is flowing through the source isn't it so as a result it is also decreasing at some point in time again what happens when CH1 and CH2 are turned on consequently current starts increasing in the forward direction because current is flowing from the DC supply to the load terminals 
again when the chopper ch1 and ch2 are turned off it goes negative and it follows the same pattern so so i hope this point is clear that is why i told source current is uh, coming towards like the current is coming towards the source terminals as a result it is going in the negative direction previously now what happens to the output voltage it will be positive when ch1 and ch2 are turned on and once it is off it goes negative in this particular fashion and again when ch1 and ch2 are turned on it becomes positive again it goes negative so output voltage is both positive and negative as a result it operates in fourth quadrant now uh, over here what happens when t on is less than t off so this is the pulses so if you carefully observe t off is much more uh, than t on in this particular fashion on off is indicated now uh, what is the nature of inductor current the nature remains same only the duration in which their discharging will change so off time will be more than the on time as a result the inductor will be discharging for more amount of time than charging for a lesser duration of time consequently the pattern uh, repeats so similarly for source current it starts increasing and at some point when both are off it goes negative and the duration of the current source current in the negative direction will be more because t off is more consequently the pattern repeats again so what happens to output voltage output voltage will be there for some point and after some point when ch1 and ch2 are turned off it goes negative and it the negative voltage will be more than compared to positive voltage again it comes to the positive voltage and once ch1 and ch2 are turned off it goes to negative so over here one important inference average output voltage will be positive because t on is greater than t on t off and consequently the average output voltage is more positive over here so here average output voltage will be more negative so it mainly will operate in the fourth quadrant mostly and over here it will operate in the first quadrant mostly so that is some important observations that we need to make off with respect to the waveforms is concerned now what happens uh, with respect to the quadrant of operation so it clearly operates in first and fourth quadrant as i told you output voltage can be positive or negative but current is always in the positive direction because the direction of current is in the same uh, as you see in, in both the cases that is case 1 and case 2 so important conclusion average output current is always positive average output voltage is positive or negative so operates in first and fourth quadrant so since it operates in first and fourth quadrant it can be used for forward motoring or regenerative braking of motor so as a result these are popularly used in wide range of industrial application if you want to use uh, the circuit for first and second quadrant you will basically go for type c chopper if you want to use it for first and fourth quadrant you will basically go for type d chopper so it basically depends on what mode of operation that you want to operate the circuits for so i hope you were able to understand and analyze the working and waveforms of a type d chopper on your own in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment below if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video meet you guys in another video. Thank you.